we now have two versions of the Skype program running. One of them logged in as Digital Friend 1 and the other logged in as Digital Friend 2. So let's have a look at how to add contact. There are various ways you can do this. You can start the Add a Contact dialog. And you can type in a, an email address, a phone number, name or Skype name. So let's type in the Skype name of the other Skype account that we've got running. Up comes the photograph with the location so that you can check whether it's the contact you intend to add. If it's the right person, you can go ahead and add. That brings you up a, a screen to send a request, which you can change to your own appropriate message and send. So a request is now sent. And there's the feedback to confirm it. There's a little pop-up in the bottom of the screen that tells us that a contact request has been received. And if we go to the other account, you can see the contact request part in the panel. Clicking on that, you can then if you're satisfied from the, the photo displayed or the profile that you know the person, you can go ahead and add the contact. Again, you can change the contact request message to whatever you feel is appropriate. You then get a pop-up message sent back to the other person saying you would like to add them and telling them that you're online just now. You can tell that a contact is online because there's a green and white tick next to them. We can change what's displayed by, on the other account, selecting another status. And you can see over in this one that it now reflects that Digital Friend 2 is not wanting to be disturbed. Again, going back online triggers a message box in the bottom of the screen. So that's one way to add contacts and to let them know what your status is and whether you are contactable or not. You can also import contact. You can do this from Facebook by filling in your Facebook username and Facebook password. But just be sure that you want that to go ahead because Skype would then contact everyone that you're in contact with on Facebook on your behalf. And there may be people that you wouldn't want to know that you had video because you wouldn't be comfortable about video contact with them. You can also use it to bring up and link with your contacts in Hotmail, Gmail, Outlook, Outlook Express, 
There are a number of other ones you can get by clicking over here. Although Yahoo isn't one of them. And there's some rather obscure things. I set up a few contacts so that there were ones there that you could link to if you tried to program. It was easy to find them. So because they all have the same email address, all five of them come up as matches.